Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. We're going to be covering, well, Isaiah Thomas or Jordan ever let it go? Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get the breakdown each and every time we have videos here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, let's get right into it. We know the story. If you don't know the story by now, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick breakdown. One of the best basketball players of all time, Michael Jordan, was literally at the spotlight, and then we're talking about the 92 Dream Team. Um, a lot of people have stated that Isaiah Thomas, Hall of Famer, NBA champion, NBA All-Star, was kept off the team. And a lot of people say Jordan refused to play for the Dream Team if Isaiah Thomas was allowed to play for the Dream Team. There's a hatred there. There's a vitriol there. Uh, that's the only thing missing from Isaiah Thomas's resume. When you look at it, he's a champion on all levels. He's a uh, all-star on all levels, Hall of Famer on all levels. And the one time he had the ability to play for them, he was not allowed to play for the team for whatever reason, I guess. There's talks that, you know, that they had a closed door meeting that Isaiah wasn't allowed. There was a number of things that were said, but point blank. The only thing that's not on Isaiah Thomas's resume is a gold medal. And a lot of times uh, we had the war that Jimmy Carter uh, didn't allow us to go over for the one set of Olympics. And I believe in Moscow, um, you're looking at the 92 Dream Team. So it was a number of, of teams that he wasn't allowed to be on or didn't have the opportunity to play for, whether it be for war, whether it be for the possible Jordan ban, a.k.a. And they've been kicking up dirt for the last couple of years. And you're looking at Isaiah Thomas saying, you know, he got on TV, he slandered my name, he got on TV. And the, the fever pitch of this, when Jordan came out with his documentary on ESPN, his uh, 30 for 30, and he specifically gave his opinion on Isaiah Thomas, it wasn't that flattering. But what people have to realize is Isaiah Thomas either wants an apology or he just likes this egging on. Because at this point, they're both older men. They're both 50, 60 years old, damn near 40, 50, 60. And you're looking at this being, okay, can this be resolved? Can this be resolved with a simple conversation? Has Jordan ever apologized? I don't think so. Publicly, privately, I don't know. But you got to think, at this point, Isaiah Thomas is, is still just swinging. He's just swinging. He's just swinging. Nothing's connecting. So you got to think, Jordan's legacy is what it is. It doesn't matter what you come and do. It doesn't matter what you come and say. He's still six for six. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you say. He still did what he did with the dream team for the Olympics. It doesn't matter. I mean, he owns the Charlotte Hornets. He has one of the best selling shoes of all time. The most iconic shoe possibly in American history. It's a number of things that Jordan's done. And I don't think Jordan cares at this point. So if I had to decide to be on, are you going to be on Jordan's side or Isaiah, Isaiah Thomas' side? I do see where Isaiah Thomas is coming from. If this is indeed true and Jordan didn't let him be on the dream team, that sucks. But, I mean, you're grown men at this point. You got to think, that was over 25 years ago. You got to get over it, man. You got to get over it. It's either that or go up and fight Michael Jordan. That's shit. That's probably what you got to do at this point. If you can get past the security. Y'all just have a schedule of a boxing match, a charity boxing match. Y'all just box it out. Something like that. Or play golf for a million dollars or something like that. So, do you think Isaiah Thomas should get over it? Do you think Jordan should apologize? Get in the comment section. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus for all the breakdowns and all the updates. And at the end of the day, guys, just apologize. It's easier that way. All right, I'll see you in the next video.